Hi, I'm Naridansai and in this video I'm gonna show you most used notes part 2. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video we did talk about some operators without searching, right? I don't like when I'm teaching something, I don't like to search for something because you don't learn as much, okay? So you remember from last video we did some operate operation in here and let's just delete some of them. We need this stuff for showing you what I'm gonna show in this video. These notes is even most used ones in any game in Unreal Engine 5. So first, first of all, right click and in here go down to utilities. Of course, I will show you how you can search them. So in utilities, if you go down to flow control, you will see all of these nodes that is in this flow control used in all the games, no matter what they are, a lot. So first one, I want to talk about branch and you can see we use delay uh, in the last video and in, in all of my videos we used delay but the branch let's just create that what this branch do it get a condition for the input pin of this condition and if it's true it will run whatever that is connected to this true pin and if it's false it will execute whatever that is connected to this false pin okay so for example let me bring it up here and connect this begin to here and i don't need this let's just delete it and in here if you remember from last video we had we had two number number one that is integer and number one is five and number two is two okay let's just change it to three okay so number one is five and number two is is three you can see that the condition of these notes is boolean if you hover over it it show you and the output of these greater notes in here is the boolean as well so you can know it from uh, this red input in here so every red circle in any node is boolean and if we connect it to this condition if the number one is greater than number two it will go to true state in here and it execute whatever that is connected to true so for example let's just connect this true to here and in as in a string i want to say it it is greater okay and in false i want to create another print a string print a string and for the false condition i want to execute this print a string and in that i want to say it is not greater so with that because number one is five and number two is three this the, the return value of this greater node will be true and because we connected to this branch and to this condition this true will be executing this print string okay let's just compile and go and run and you can see it is saying that it is greater and in output log you can see it as well if you don't know how you can open up this output log just go to window open the output log and you can see that i search this because i just want to show i just want to see just the logs that we make okay let's clear all the log and this was for branch and i know you know what branch is again right click go to utilities of course you can search the branch you can search for branch and it will show it to you but let's just find it in here in the utilities in flow control go to second one that is delay delay we did talk about delay so let's not talk about it again the next one is do n and what this node is doing it's for when you want something to happen end time in your game so for testing this do n nodes i want to bring it down to here and create a event 
Tick. We did talk about Event Tick, please if you don't know what this Event Tick is, I have a playlist about Blueprint Beginner, so watch that and you find out what this is in detail. Okay, so this Event Tick run, whatever that is connected to this Execute pin, 60 times per second or if your game is 60 frames per second okay so let's just connect it and in in this do and notes first parameter that it get is an integer that tell you how many time it should run whatever that is connected to this exit pin so let's say i want to run it for four time okay and in exit pin I can say just print a string and in print a string I want to say just hello okay so what this node is do at the first frame of our game it entered to this do and time and because it's first time n is 1 so n is less than 4 so it will run this print a string and in frame number 2 again it will go to this do and node and because no n is 2 it will again execute this print screen and it do it until it reach 4 okay so what we should see in here if we compile and run it should show us hello four times and you can see hello 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 and four times it show hello a stop our game and in here break all everything in here so this print screen doesn't work anymore and we have just this okay so let's just again run it and it will show us four time hello and you can see it in here as well again clear the log and let's just stop just remember you should stop before you be able to write any blueprint code okay so there is an output pin in here as well so this counter it show the value of n okay so the first time n is one second time n is two third time n is three and you get the idea so this counter show you that number the number of n okay so if we connect this to this inner string in our printer screen of course you know that because this is an integer and we should convert it to a string to be able to show it in print string and the unreal engine 5 does it for us automatically so let's just compile go to our game or run it and you can see it start from one two three four let's just stop our game again and another pin that it has is this reset pin so if you uh, for example uh, for input choose a key r and whenever r in our keyboard is pressed this node will be reset so you know that by no because we set the end to four this this print string um, will print the number of n the value of our n in here to the screen but it stay at four but if you reset it it will again start from one to four again so let's just compile and watch it here and let's just clear log again run it and you can see it's from one to four and you can see it in output log as well and if we hit r in our keyboard again it write from one to four again okay so let's just again go back to our event graph in here the next note that i want to show you is let me go to utilities in here go to flow control this is do once this do once is exactly like do n but the n is always one okay so it will just show or, or a screen for a string for example just once okay so let's just delete all of this and in here just bring it up connect this execution pin and this complete pin to here and we have reset as well in here so let's just connect that there is other pins in here i've thought about boolean that is saying start close if you check this if this is true or you check this this print string won't happen because it is closed but if you uncheck it 
at default it will run through once and it will print hello in here once and if you hit r it will again show it once okay so let's just compile it go to our game and you can see it's just showing us this hello message once and if we hit r in here again it will show it if we again hit r in here it will show it again and in here if you just make it start closed and compile it and if you go to our game in here it won't show the hello in here let's just stop it and run it again it won't show it unless you hit r on your keyboard so it will reset it and it will be open once the next node that that i want to show you is let me see the utility flow control in here do once multi input and i think you know by now what it does so for example let's just delete this and bring this up here and if we connect this to a and connect this a out to this it will just work as a do once okay and we can connect this to reset pin and it will just like do once and it work like that and if we play it and you can see that it's just showing hello okay so it do it once but has another option to add pins so if we add pins in this b in it will if you connect execution pin to this b in it will execute whatever that is connected to this b out once and you can have as many as you want the next note let me see is the flip-flop okay so what this flip-flop do let's just again delete this bring this up connect this execution pin to execution pin of our flip-flop and what it does first time that this is running it will run through execution pin of a and the next time it will go through b the next time a the next time b the next time a the next time b and it's what it does so let's just connect this printer string to a and let's just create another printer string and connect it to the b and in this case i want to say bye okay so because this event tick run whatever that is connected to its execution pin 60 time per second first time it execute this print string and second time this execution pin third time this execution pin fourth time this execution pin and it will do it on and on and on again so compile and let's just go and you can see it's it's just showing us let's just pause for a minute it show hello bye hello bye hello bye and let's just stop and that's that's how this this flip-flop is working and sometimes you need something like this believe me just know about it sometimes you will need this there is another pin in here and it will uh, give you if this node is at the a state or not so if this node is executing whatever that is connected to this a pin this is a will be true and if this flip-flop node is running whatever that is connected to this b pin it this is a pin will be false and you know it right so again if we connect it to a print string uh, it will show you true false true false true false because it's flip-flop right so the next nodes that i want to show you in utility in flow control this for loop for loop is too much important just remember this you mostly use this for loop always in your game so let's just delete this flip-flop and i don't want to use this event tick so i want to use this event begin play so let's just bring it down in here i always love to make it align to the grids so it will be more beautiful so if we connect this execution pin to our for loop it will start from whatever number we set in here like one to whatever number that we set in here like four so it starts from number one to number four 
and each time that it's increasing this first index it will execute whatever that is connected to this loop body okay so for example i want to print something print hello okay and in this case because it has start from one to four it will print this hello four time right so it will start from number one to four and increment that value until it reach the last index that is in this case is four okay and if we compile and run and you can see it print hello four time again in here let's just stop our simulation and in the index it will show you what what is the index in real time so if we connect this to this in a string it automatically converted to the string for us and it will show you the index so it should start from one to four and it will show us that those numbers so let's just compile and run and you can see it start from one to four of course you can start from whatever value you want let's just say from value 8 to value 15 the first index is i8 the next index is 9 and it will execute this loop body whatever that is connected to this loop body until the index is 15 okay let's just compile it and you can see that it starts from 8 let's just clear log and run it again and you can see that it starts from 8 to 15 there is another pin that is in here that is this complete so let's just bring this out a little bit so you can see it clearly this complete is happening whenever the index is 15 so we can use that to print whatever we want or do whatever you want so we can say for loop is ended okay for example so if we run our game compile and run our game you can see it starts from 8 to 15 and after the index is 15 and our loop is complete it says for loop is ended this video get too long too fast and i want to end this video and we will have part 3 for this video to show you most used nodes in Unreal Engine 5. It's my honor to have you and the, at the end of this video. Please, if you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.